<laughs> Welcome back, good sir. Yeah, here we are again. You're uh, officially on your road out of un- unemployment, as you've mentioned a couple times in the show. Yeah. I think this is my first time bringing it up on my own. This is sad. Sad days. Why? I've been enjoying living off the system. I was thinking about it while I was showering <laughs> today. I was like, this is going to be the end of an era to a degree. A short-lived era, but an era. And you know, I still haven't been paid by the system. <laughs> oh, good for you. Yeah, for you. it still hasn't happened. Like, I, I'm proud of you, sir. So, You're doing good work out there. It hasn't happened just yet. But a couple of interviews, hopefully, you know, light some candles, do some voodoo, poke the right <laughs> dolls. You know, you know. It'll happen. Play with the right dolls. <laughs> Diddle them a little bit in the no-no zones. The but, kinds where, you know, like in court where they have to ask where, where people were touched. Well, kind of like that a little bit. Okay. Well, I've already done that. Then <laughs> good luck. So I'm ahead of the game. <laughs> I respect that. Very good. I was complimenting your beanie earlier as well. How'd you even get that? Yvonne's mom gave it to me like two years ago. I don't know if I've ever seen you wear that. Because I've only recently put it on. Oh, God, you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. My hair was uh, always long, so I didn't like putting it in a beanie. Mm-hmm. But now that it's shorter, fits right in. You kind of give me like potential mailman vibes a little bit okay. with that. Okay. Like okay. like maybe hey, if you're like working in Chicago. I might be You a have mailman. a good jacket for it as well right now. I don't know. I, feel, I, I like it a lot. I feel like you could do mailman that. Mailman John? Just change Captain America to USPS and you'll be okay. fine. Yeah, yeah. Mailman John. Mailman oh, John. Yeah, yeah. Be careful. I'll get you pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that baby does look like the mailman. <laughs> Fair enough. Mine was the milkman. I think they had those when I was a little kid. Probably not. What? A milkman? Uh-huh. I wonder when that stopped. Or if, it has, if there's still like cities out there in America that still do it. That actually be kind of neat. No, I, I doubt it. You don't think so? Yeah, no. it's too old now. Yeah. I, I can see like a refrigerated truck. Maybe the Amish. Ma- oh, sure, sure. That's okay. All, maybe. Are they allowed to drive? I think, Or does it have to be a carriage? Yeah, think? I think it's a carriage. Okay, okay, okay. I think. That'd be awesome. No, it wouldn't. What is the era that they have to stop technology at as an Amish community? Do you? I, I want. I want to know what that would be. Oh, the actual era. Yeah, like they could n- not. Their technology cannot go past eighteen thirty-seven or something like that. Right. I wonder what it would be. I. I. I, I there's got to be regulations on that, right? There. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I try not to judge the homage. I judge a lot. Not the Amish. Not the Amish. Though. Not the Amish. That's where you draw the line. That's the line. Why is that the line? Because they're simple people. They're they're simple <laughs> folk. <laughs> Have you heard like they let their kids go out at a certain age to see if they want to stay Amish? Oh yeah, yeah. It's called a uh, Rumspringa, I think. Yeah, it's spring like, break. Yeah, yeah. That's it's that's basically there's their, their spring break. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Midsummer festival, <laughs> essentially. How do you think you'd react to like? Growing up with having nothing, like technology wise, and then just being thrown into the wild. Yeah, I'm sure my mind would be blown. I mean, I imagine somehow they're they're still they have to be aware of it because they probably ride their wagons yeah. into town yeah, every once 100%. in a while and they're like, Oh, look at these metal horses running around. But otherwise, yeah, I wonder what that would be like. Seriously. I'm sure they know how to read. I'm sure they know they're in car AJ. <laughs> <laughs> metal horses. What is a Chevrolet? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cool. A toy, toy, yota. Oh, interesting. I like the sound of that. That sounds Burn catchy. Um, I know, right? Burn it! It's blasphemous! Right now, <laughs> if I was to drop you off at an Amish city? Sure. Town? How long do you think you'd make it? I think I could do it. I'm sure I would be winded after, like, the first, like, week. I'm sure my arms would be falling off from all the fucking tree sawing and shit and barn building and you such. so buff. But oh, so buff! So oh my god! Buff. I'm sure my beard would thicken from it because I'm like straining so hard; it's it pushing starts, more facial hair yeah, out. That's how it works. Yeah, essentially, that's, that's how the they science. get those impressive beards. Sometimes, absolutely, especially if it's like part of your genes. I'm sure the babies are kind of built with like a little peach fuzz on them already, okay. to a degree. I wouldn't I doubt. I would agree with that. Yeah. I think I could do. I think I could. I think I could do it. I think I have it in me because we've talked about it. you and I. Once upon a time, we're in great shape. Yeah. <laughs> Those days are That's gone. A long time ago. Long gone. That's a whole Amish lifetime. <laughs> <my friend. laughs> 
<laughs> I wonder if their life expectancy is shorter because they are not allowed to use modern medicine. They don't I use imagine. Modern medicine? I mean, again, it's probably like past, like that's I don't know, my fucking nineteen twelve. No Anything past nineteen twelve, they didn't have ibuprofen no yet. That's I bet. True. If little Jimmy gets shot in the stomach and I'm Amish, I'm taking his ass to the and hospital. A, it's a bunch of mud and pig shit to kind of to, to cauterize the wound a little bit, <laughs> no. or, to stuff the wound, and then they burn it so that way it cauterizes. <laughs> no. Oh, just get some pig shit and stuff it in there. It'll be fine. That's got to be illegal. I don't know why that's my Amish <laughs> voice. I have no idea. <laughs> it's not a. Uh, that's not from experience. But I would love to visit though. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. We don't I'd have any of them in California, right? I maybe like Central. I could see it happening there, but like because like it's like it's basically like vacancy when like I, when you and I have driven up to San Francisco together I know you've done, done that drive many a time Several times. I've only done it twice myself from for memory yeah only like twice but oh no no three times I guess now but either way it's it's freaking crazy it's freaking crazy I don't know I, I feel like it's so wide open and expansive yeah. with just like rural land I would not doubt that there's some sort of hidden community out there but I could also see it being in like the Midwest maybe like in the south. Uh, that's probably where I more think prevalent it would be a, yeah, the in the south. in the Bible Belt of sorts, if you will. Yeah. I want to look it up now, or should we just leave it to our imagination? I think our imaginations would be better. Okay, I'll I like it. to think I'll as I'll the Amish as superheroes, and <laughs> I don't want you to take that away from me. Let me at least look to see if we can get like a hotel stay if they built like an inn that people can stay at to visit them. I mean, you gotta, you definitely should look up Amish Town, California. Amish Town, California. Cal- yeah, let's, let's. Oh yeah, here we go. Amish Town, California. Is it actually called Amish? Amish Town, California. Yeah, Mennonite Community Church, Church in Fresno, California. That's not far from it's us. A church though. Okay, where are the Amish in California? The Amish community at Salinas in Monterey County was Wait. was largely comprised of. Let me brighten my screen a little bit. Of families from an Oregon Amish settlement that had experienced disunity. Ooh, okay. the congregation divided. Seven families chose to follow their bishop and set up shop in California. So there was some controversy back in the day. Okay. Someone slept with someone else's goat. I like it. <laughs> I like it. All right. It was a sexy goat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lamb chop was looking real good mm-hmm. that day. Those hips. Don't worry. I'll bring the gravy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> That's so gross. It looks... <laughs> <laughs> changing the subject well not really review of the Amish experience <laughs> bird in hand Pennsylvania oh okay so you could definitely visit them that's cool oh look at those sexy bonnets that the ladies are wearing you see all the leg they're showing uh, sluts yeah I know <laughs> you can almost get some straight knee on that <laughs> almost oh my god Let's see. Those slower moving cars, the milkman who delivered fresh dairy items, and those wonderful baked goods from the Helms Bakery. I'm going to stop before we get in trouble for <laughs> plagiarism here. We're going to get a nasty email. Well, sorry, mail from the Amish. Not email. <laughs> Not email. It's going to come from five <laughs> pigeons that died on the way to get to us. It was like a nice relay race to, to California <laughs> from Pennsylvania. That sounds amazing. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, apparently the Amish are definitely a thing. If you've ever stayed with the Amish or if somehow you yourself are Amish, let us know. <laughs> Send your carrier pigeons our way. <laughs> Southern California. Tell us about your experience. Beerbellypod at gmail.com. You know, speaking of the Amish, <laughs> did yeah. you see that Whistle Pig released a 21-year whiskey? I did indeed. Holy shit. Okay, do I'm you know look the price? That up. I don't. I know. I'm going to look that up right now. What do you think the price is? Tell me right now. Guess. Okay. Price is right. Uh, l- 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 um, 18 years, what? Like about $400? Yeah. 450 450 500 yeah. Okay. Then uh, Boss Hog is what? Around like 600 700 Typically? Shit, yeah. At least it, five. Yeah, I think it's like 550 So I... Is this is this a rye as well? I think. Yeah, I thought it I saw be. rye. Yeah. If, it, if it's by them, I would imagine it has to be a rye. Um, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna go middle of the road and say five hundred and fifty dollars. I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping it's only three hundred. Five hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, yeah. You and I are in different price. Okay, you can't change it. No, you said okay. Five 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 fifty. Five fifty. Uh huh. I'm gonna say five fifty one. <laughs> no, I'm playing. <laughs> <Son of a bitch. laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's gonna be seven fifty. Seven fifty. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. So whistle pig. <laughs> Five fifty one. Beholden twenty one. Right. Oh my god. So 
Someone no. selling it for twenty one hundred dollars. No, no way, it's that much. Twenty one. Okay, let's go in the Whistle Pig shop, official shop. Okay, eight hundred dollars, and it sold I was, out. I was damn close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Single malt whiskey. So if anyone does not oh. know, Whistle Pig is um, is a distillery from uh, was it Vermont? Is it? Um, I feel like they're all over the place because they also are like Canadian, Virginia, Virginia. Is it Virginia? One of the V's. <laughs> oh, look at that case, they're, though. They're not Canadian. Not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, okay. okay. Maybe that 21 year is actually. that. There's no way Whistle Pig is 21 years old. So <laughs> that is maybe, fair. maybe that's still Canadian. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, with only 18 barrels in our spring 20, 2023 release, the single barrel bottled at 92 proof. Okay, so pretty high proof is the holy grail of American single malt. Wow, interesting. Some tasting notes, sweet fruit notes that leads into sense of cinnamon. Palette is golden raisin, graham cracker and black cherry, and finished solid oak with maple and prowling, and a hint of smoke on finish. That sounds good. Yeah, it does. That sounds really good. And that case is awesome. It's like you're opening a wardrobe or something. I just, I mean. Like a cabinet. An old wood cabinet. It kind of lost the the flash to it. That WP is pretty nice. At the it bottom, is really but nice. But besides that, I like the the traditional look of their bottles. The eighteen year. Oh yeah, that's so classy looking. This mm-hmm. looks classy too, and it's like a like legit wooden cork that they have, or like legit cork, I should say. Looks like they even have like gold or brass wrapped around it too. That's really nice. Oh man, okay. is that some Latin they put on that Ooh. shit? Holy crap. But yeah, this looks nice though. But yeah, clearly it, this this was not aged for 21 years at the distillery because no. that official distillery has not been has not existed that long. So it'd be interesting to know where they actually got it from. Canada, it, I I guess so. It must be uh, finished in rye barrels. Okay, 92 proof, 46 percent alcohol. Not that bad. makes sense. That Bottle you up. number five, barrel number five. Oh yeah, wow. Uh, here we go. Distilled at the first malt distillery in North America. Huh. Where is that? That can't be Whistle Pig, because again, they haven't been around that long, right? No, they have not. When were they even established, or at least moved into America? Yeah, it must be Canadian. I don't understand. I guess we should have done some more research. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying yeah. to figure this out exactly. It's weird, but I'm super excited about it. Don't get me wrong. It's probably some of the whiskeys they bought from Canada when they first opened up. That right. they continued to age. Right. Because I don't think they buy from them anymore. One would think, wow, right? Four hundred bucks for for the eighteen year. Thank you, twenty one year. You dropped the price on the the eighteen. I know, right? So if the four of us, let's say the five of us, mm-hmm. were to put in, how much would that be for eight hundred bucks? That's a lot of four money. Four would be two hundred dollars each person. Is that how much is selling it on the site? Did that is that what we said? Eight hundred bucks for it? Yeah, seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Okay, so then divided by five. And let's let's should we actually say or nine for fifty? What am I talking about? Is it more like nine hundred? After taxes, we probably have to round. Yeah. So let's just say nine hundred divided by five. Oh geez, what is that like? I don't even know. Neither do I. That's my my math so bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, forty times. Five. <laughs> I'm it's looking nine. at you for confirmation, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Do I have a calculator app on me? Someone. Now, do you add someone up listening is like, it's nights? fucking this, you bitch. <laughs> it's fucking this, you bitches. Time to break out the old coagulator. Oh no. Divided by five people. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, nine hundred divided by five. Divided by five. That's gonna be one hundred and eighty per person. That's not bad. That's not bad. I would do that. I mean, we'll destroy it in like a night. Then, we would if that's have the case. to. We would have to. Why? Because, I mean, who's going to... And then the next discussion is who keeps the bottle. Right. I mean, we can have it be like a uh, uh, like, like a like a Heisman Trophy. Or not a Heisman Trophy. What, what, oh, the, what, Shiva? the yeah, Shiva? Yeah, yeah. The Shiva from the league. Or like the uh, fucking Stanley Cup where like each player gets to have it for however long. We just do it like maybe like once a year someone gets to have it. What happens if somebody breaks it? Oh, then we break them. Simple okay. as that. Okay. We fuck their, for their life. That's all there is to it. But that looks like a lot of fun, though. Oh, I want baby. It. 180, I can live with that. That's what? not bad. I, I, can I was thinking that. 200, which is a lot, but... Rounding-wise, If you you're do right. it once, one time, just to say you did it. Just to say we did it. Which yeah. is crazy, because I wouldn't do that for the boss hog. You wouldn't? No. Is it because you've had it so much? I think so. <laughs> Probably. Fair enough. Well, again, just a reminder of what the hell we're talking about. We're talking about the whistle pig... Um, the Beholden 21-year single malt whiskey 
by Whistle Pig. Again, the Behold. It's a nice slim bottle. Yeah, it's very interesting. I want to be inside of it. <laughs> Let me see what the ounceage is on that. I don't know. Or the milliliters, whatever. I don't see. Oh, well. Whatever. whatever. It, it, yeah, it's, it doesn't it's, matter. It's, it's, it's we'll, we'll it kill it in one night. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> The only problem is it's sold out on the website, so we probably have to buy it at price. At, at whatever like aftermarket price well, there is. It sounds like we're stuck waiting until next year, which that's probably. fine because mm-hmm. $200 for me right now is a lot. I can live with that. Sure. <laughs> until then, I'm going to get you Bird Dog Peanut Butter Whiskey. Oh, man. That blattens. Mm. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. The restaurant I went to this morning had blattens there, and I was trying to look at the letter. I think it was a B. I could be wrong. But from where I was sitting, it looked like the letter was B on the cork. So I, I, I actually kind of want it. But you could tell it's been sitting there for a while. The past few times I've gone, it's been there. Mm-hmm. And um, they have not opened it yet, I don't think. Really? No, no, I, I don't think I feel like so. it's kind of lost its steam. That, and I don't, I mean, it's like a breakfast, like, Whoa. spot that I go to. And so I don't feel like a lot of people are feeling like bourbon that early in the morning. At least I wasn't. <laughs> you should have. It's not like you haven't done it before. <laughs> That's true. Wait, may- maybe whiskey you haven't. Maybe whiskey I haven't? No, no, wait, wait, wait. When we left who's bachelor party Diego's bachelor party, we left unbelievably toasty. We had whiskey at like oh. nine or ten. Oh yeah. Oh no that I, we were extremely destroyed. Yeah, I remember that. That's oh, right. wait, yeah, that's, yeah, when yeah. You, that's when you rolled down the hill, I forgot. <laughs> it was that trip. <laughs> and then we were singing what's in it that Mulan song um be a man be a man for like an hour and a half straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it kept going back to be a man. <laughs> Our voices kept getting deeper and deeper every time we sang it, too. <laughs> we got that song a little Fun more fact, down that day. Yeah? I'm not a man. <laughs> Even after an hour and a half of singing that song. <laughs> no more a man, yet not a woman. <laughs> Favorite Britney Spears jam, for sure. You know, I'm so upset that you're looking at that. Why? The piglets? Uh-huh. They changed it to be the six year when it used to be 10, 12, and 15. Oh, no, yeah. That makes that, me so sad. The year the piglets got gifted to me, that's what I got to have. Yeah. And it was great. It was great. They were like perfect pours for like one glass mm-hmm. each. I, I believe I shared the 12 year with you, though. Yeah. Or the 15. It was, it was one of the 15. two. It, it, was it was nice. Probably the 15. I remember that night. We were hanging up back here in this very room with the girls. That was super fun. And it was a nice way to start the night. I think, I think that is what started the night, actually. And then from there. I'm sure we got silly. Nice and I don't. Nice. I don't think that was the AJ Oscar Isaac night though. But it could have no, been. It could have no. been. But oh, n- what were we drinking that got you that drunk? <laughs> I think just accumulation of things. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that was that night. No, I feel like that was some months before that. Doesn't matter. But all I know is that yeah, she got fucked. How toasty were you last Saturday? Oh, I woke up hungover for sure. Uh, was it Saturday? Yeah. It was Saturday. Yeah, I woke up hungover, yeah. my sir. I was I, I was like, why am I so hungover? And I thought about it, I was like, oh, we didn't need to have that much whiskey at the end. I could have I would have been fine without the whiskey. I don't remember. We had two glasses of whiskey. That was it? Mm-hmm. That was it. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, but we also had soju earlier on, and we were fine with the soju. And I, then we I had was martinis. good. The martinis is martinis. what did it. We I think Maylee made us like three each. Each. At least three. And then we had two glasses of bourbon. But, I mean, how many shots of soju did we have? Maybe five? Oh, I drank a whole bottle myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I shared a little bit with you and then a lot of it with Sid. I'm very positive. Because I had some after that. I'm very positive. I drank a whole bottle myself. <laughs> I forgot about that. I've recently the done that, soju. too. I mean. Where you just killed a bottle of soju to yourself? Yeah. To be oh. fair, it's like the, like the standard ones. Like, John isn't too crazy, but... It's like, you know, from AJ Chin to AJ Brow. Yeah, yeah. But it's a good size. I mean, that's still thir- a lot of liquor. 13%. Drinking. It's a lot of rice wine you're that drinking right there. fuck you yeah. up. Imagine having a 13% beer. It's going to fuck your life. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, wow. Look at this. Albertsons has Boss Hog. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. I want it. For how much, though? Uh, seven hundred bucks or six, 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 six. Oh, that's, oh, not that's good. scary. That's not good. That's not good. You remove one six. And then the other six and the period, <laughs> then you're talking about the devil. <laughs> Jesus. But only after you mer- remove those two sixes and then the period. But then straight devil is That's for sure. straight devil. <laughs> Go on Albertsons.com. This episode brought to you by Albertsons. I wish. Oh, can we get some Albertsons money for the show? 
That'd be amazing. You know, just give us a boss hog <laughs> and I'll take that as, you know, sponsorship. <laughs> there you go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Vermont right here. I'm seeing on the, on the top of the bottle. Yeah, Vermont. Oh, Vermi. Aged t- 13 years. Okay. 61.3% alcohol. Mm. 122.6 proof. Mm. That's the latest boss hog right now, everybody. That will the- fuck. Was a big who, uh, ho- Boss Hog siren song, and that explains a lot. Let me let me see. So remember that one twenty two six sixty one point three. Actually, I'm just gonna open another tab. Okay. Let's see. I was like, I Bo- forgot it instantly. <laughs> I remembered six 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 six. <laughs> that was the most. I don't blame you there. Actually, I would have. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's just see what this one. The what last year's was at. Oh my god, it's a, what over a thousand. Yep, the, oh. those, they go up in value so quickly. So it's like it's almost like smart to buy them when you can. Yeah, okay. I mean, kind of. You know what I mean? I mean, it's expensive. I don't know if and anyone you have to find somebody that wants to actually buy it. <sighs> yes, exactly. Which is why, like the store that we've been going to over in Party House and stuff like that, and other places, I randomly see it. They sit there because it's like I mean, my stepdad bought one, but I mean, even he had to contemplate it for literally years before he bought one and. Who knows the store he bought it at? How many they had? Oh, part of me over that time. I mean, I would imagine stores. I could be wrong, but I think depending on their clientele and their frequency of sale per, let's just say, Bossog, they probably only buy two a year. You think? And if they and, and maybe depending on how quickly they deplete that inventory, then yeah. they re up on more, I suppose. But oh, Jesus, wow. that, I mean, that that would just be my guess. I'm not getting the results I want from this. Not really. What, what were you trying to look for? Um, like what? Like I wanted to compare the uh, alcohol content from last year's Boss Hog, the eighth edition to the ninth edition. Now, um, why don't you just go to Google Images? I guess so. And zoom in from there. I guess so. Shit. All right, fine. Google. Yeah. Good old Googs. The Googs. Yes. All right. Boss All right. Hog. This has become a whiskey episode. I think so. Whiskey I'm not, has I'm definitely fine took over this. I'm cool with it, but yeah, I'm I'm curious. That's not it. That's the last one we were looking at. I said fucking eighth edition, bitch. Jesus. Oh my god. And which edition does Steve have? The eighth edition. The eighth. one I want. Or I mean I want all of them, but <laughs> yeah. He has the Lapu Lapu. There it is. That's the one sold out everywhere. Lapu Lapu's Pacific. It's a nice case too. I really like his, and the bottle looks great too. Oh shit! I just screwed. <laughs> what the fuck did just, you just do? I put that we were under twenty-one. God damn it! I am. I believe it. See <laughs> There's the seventh edition. Dear Lord, I'm just excited about this. So I want to know what it is. Here it is. Online liquor. We're just gonna settle with whatever the fuck we get. I guess. God damn it, AJ. There we go. I can't read it. It's too foggy. The image quality isn't that great. You can't look at the description. The description won't show. It might. Now that you mention it, let's see here. Yeah, here we go. So this rare and outstanding complex whiskey is barrel strength, bottled between 104.8 and 106.6 proof. So not as strong. This is more like 52.4. What a difference. Maybe like 53.3% alcohol compared to what the fuck we're seeing at Albertsons with Jesus, 122.6 proof, 61.3. I mean, honestly, now that I'm seeing the devil's price tag on this, <laughs> it's trying to make sense. It's trying to make, it's trying to make sense. sense. See the devil. <laughs> if you remove the six, six period. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It even, it even mentions like, it gives you a breakdown. It's essentially $26, 29 cents per fluid ounce. That's what you're paying there. So gee, Jesus. So if you're going somewhere, don't be surprised if you're paying at least forty dollars, sixty dollars a glass for like a two ounce Fuck, pour. So Stagbar was pour. really giving it away at one point. Extremely so. You think but that I mean, COVID they were. COVID had to do with it though. It's I, I imagine so. I, or I wouldn't. I think last time we went, instead of thirty, it was thirty-five, maybe forty. I think it was like forty. Even still, that's a steal. That's a steal. <laughs> like, I want to yeah. go there now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fuck you your interview. Problem. We're going to get some Boss Hog just to see where it's at. Hey, the interview ends at one thirty. That's not bad. Come and swoop me up. I should just drive you <laughs> just to your interview back home. Up. Oh, no, you drove yourself. Damn it. <laughs> I think <laughs> I should. I just got an oil change in my car. I just got to put gas in there. Oh, no, you're, I'm getting, good. you're getting work done. Am I? That's what you said. Or am I getting work done? Oh, that's right. My car. I, wait, I'm getting a rental, though, at two. Oh, yeah. Well, it's time to abuse that bitch. <laughs> it is time to abuse that bitch. 
I'm so excited. No. Uh, what if we just went, you're, you're going to have a new job eventually. It could be this one. I'm going to put my hand on your thigh uh, yeah. to show that I'm serious. I'm not comfortable. Here we go. Now talk about you the can, devil's you juice. Keep, you now. can keep tapping my lap. It's not going to make me feel more comfortable. Tell me about the devil's juice now. What, Come on. what uh. if we What if we spent $333.33 together to buy Boss Hog at Albertsons right now? <laughs> it's not a bad price. You're on crack. It's not a bad You're price. You're on crack. <laughs> I bet you if we had two two ounce pours each, we'd get fucked up. Yeah. A hundred and twenty two point six proof. Sixty one point three percent alcohol. That is insane. You go from AJ to Oscar Isaac <laughs> so quick. So quick. So quick. I bet after a third pour, a third two ounce pour, oh yeah. He's coming out. He's to play. coming out. The neon the lights end. are turning on in this back room. The fireplace is getting lit up. The jams are getting put on, and I'm also going to be put down. on top of John at that point for sure. No escape. I and I no no escape. The, the locks. Are I didn't out. know this lock from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to hire like a 400 pound man to just stand in front of the door. A bouncer. Joshua. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, Joshua. just hire your brothers to hold the door. <laughs> like shit. You're going to look around. Look for something heavy, throw it against this glass door behind us, and just dash. <laughs> I'll find a way out. You'll find a way. I'll Your find brother a way played out. football too, so he could probably catch you pretty well, I imagine. He probably. Would. <laughs> yeah. He's got some strong, powerful legs. <laughs> yeah. I don't fuck with that kid. Drag you right back in. <laughs> you watch this man dance. Exactly. And now partake. Go on. Go on. Give a little two step. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about this boss hog, though. I can tell. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, that much alcohol? Are you kidding me? I mean, granted, there's a possibility if we were to order order this online, it, it probably won't be the same exact bottle. Unless we requested it, but it's Albertsons. No, I don't know if you can really get do the that. Exact bottle. I mean, it says barrel number 26, so I want that 26th barrel because that one's fucking You're high octane. Jesus, I have 274. <laughs> yeah. Not nearly as special. <laughs> I mean, if that means it costs less, I'm, you get the I'm reprint. down for that. It's, it's not as good. The reprint. <laughs> I wonder how much it would cost if we were to buy it straight from the distillery, though. Like, hopefully it would cost less, right? No, I think it's the same. That's so crazy. I, I remember just... when I went to Jack Daniels. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Well, sure. It, it also comes down to where you're shopping, because if you go to a place like Party house, <laughs> they do jack up the prices on some of their bottles. Of course, like by a lot. Of course, probably like yeah, I'm sure a lot. Yeah, yeah by yeah. like a lot. So in that instance, it would be cheaper. But like high time, mm -hmm. it's a great like uh, not liquor store. It's a what is it? It is a liquor store. It's like a it's like a it glorified is, a liquor store. Yeah. but it's like a wine. It's like a, it's like a winery inside of itself as well. It's got a it's, bunch of craft beers. All also, it's ridiculous. And they charge manufacturer price. There like, you go. So, no, I don't think there's a, that big of a difference. But okay. you probably can find some rare shit. I wouldn't doubt. You remember I brought, like, the the green-labeled Jack Daniels? Yes, I forgot about that. I yeah, can... that cost me, like, 60 bucks. I, I want to That's legit. That. That's legit. That's cheap. Yeah. All things considered. I mean, I think that sounds pretty fair, depending on what you get. Because, like, even here, like, honestly, what I've been seeing on YouTube of lately, just doing some fun research, a lot of places, as long as you're local-ish to where it comes from... You shouldn't have to pay that much. I mean, I get it. They go into a lot of fanfare for these bottles and stuff with the pewter, you know, bottle topper and stuff like that, the beautiful packaging, but that can't all, you know, ramp up the price of fucking six, $700, you know? Yeah. It's crazy. It's really, I just don't see how it can really like realistically cost that much if you're buying it from vaguely the state where it comes from, but I could be wrong. I mean... Obviously, it's super expensive, but like I'm used to seeing like again, if I if, if there's one thing I've learned, typically, if you're around the states where it comes from, if like maybe yeah, one right. or two, if you're in like the tri-state area, a, a really good bottle of like bourbon, let's say a really good bottle of bourbon shouldn't cost more than like 60 to 100, 120 dollars. And this is some like crazy absolutely crazy limited time only release like an annual release thing kind of like boss hog i suppose at yeah. that point maybe you could see it for 200 dollars, but that's really? like steep yeah apparently like for a lot of things 200 250 dollars 300 maybe but yeah it's like i mean you got to think about it there's no there's no shipping or anything like that out there yeah i didn't know that paps was annual
Oh yeah, old Pappy. Pappy, yeah, for sure. Not, not, not Paps Blue Ribbon. No, but, <laughs> but yeah, Pappy. old Paps. Pap, Pappy Van Winkle. Yeah. yeah, that's an annual release. So, I, and I think it's around like February. Oh, I shit. think so. I think it's like an like a winter springtime release, something like that, similar to like Pine of the Younger and such. I, I could be wrong by that, I think but my I'm, whiskey's overrated, by the way. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, mean, I haven't had it as much as you have, mm-hmm. but. I don't think it's worth a thousand dollar. A lot of people out there don't have to spend that much, really. Like some people buy it for like a quarter of that price. It's happened. Where like people, if you if really, you, I, I think it also has to do with when you know people. Go to the like bro- if you know like stores that carry that stuff on on occasion. People on can website. do it. I'm curious to see what the website says they charge. They have a website. Right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. So let's see. Uh, Pappy Van Winkle, or actually, it's it's, through, it's Trace. yeah Buffalo Trace exactly. <laughs> it's all Buffalo Trace, mm-hmm. and they're making a shitload of money off that. But yeah, like honestly, the mark uh, so their price is much different than the aftermarket price. That that that's the thing. I'm ready to get my mind fucking blown. Yeah, okay. watch. Let's I'm, see. I'm watching. My mind is still here though. <laughs> 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 All right, let's see here. All right, okay. Peppy Van Winkle. They're not going to sell it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Out of towners. Hold on. But, I mean, I'm surprised, like, Whistle Pig at least shows you. Right. I mean, how I much guess, it is. I guess it's because it's more readily Maybe available. Maybe you can just Google. Yeah, I guess so. Peppy's, like, manufacturer price or. MSRP? Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, because all this is just, like, fan stuff. Yeah, fan I don't stuff. give a shit about it. Okay. Who, yeah. who even is he? I don't know. Oh, I, I honestly don't know. I, I, I've I've listened to a podcast that talked about it once, and it was interesting. But you tuned it out? I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so not too interesting. I guess so. Uh, so there you go. This is the 23-year MSRP $300. That I'm serious. No but way. But people jack that shit up. Like, like okay, look, listen. Over 100%. That's like, like 200%, bro. It, it's a... It, they, they, what? Okay, it's worth 10% of what people jack it up to. I'm serious. I'm absolutely serious. That's more like a th- aftermarket, $3,000. Easy. Easy. For the, for the 23 year. But I'm telling you, they only sell it for that bit. But it's like, you got to know where to get it from and who to get it from. And you probably have to wait in some ridiculous line if you buy it from the distillery. If you can even do that. I'm sure it's like a whole to do. Kind of like when you and I go out to... To Pliny the Younger and such. Yeah. It's probably it be, like it that. But even mature. but even more. I imagine the glines are probably even crazier because, I mean, it's a high market item, you know. I mean, so is Pliny the Younger, but you don't buy a bottle of Pliny the Younger or a case of Pliny the Younger for $3,000, you know. No, but people jack it up to like $100, $120. Per bottle, I imagine. Yeah. When yeah. You yeah. actually get, the, get it from there. I thought about selling it, mm-hmm. but then it just tasted so good that I opened <laughs> it and I drank it. You know? Yeah. yeah. That's also such a sad moment when you're like, it's your last bottle, and you're oh, like, sure. if I, you're not supposed to like preserve them, they go bad. The tastes aren't the same, so it's like I gotta drink it now. Yeah, but yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> I wish I could keep this for just a random day that I really want it. But yeah, so here we go. Wow, perfect example. Rip Van Winkle, or pa- I'm sorry, Pappy Van Winkle, twenty year, four thousand dollars on the Bourbon Concierge. So, yeah, people jack the fuck out of these prices, my my dog. It's crazy. Oh, look at this Blanton special. 189 bucks. Yeah, Blanton's has gotten very cheap. But again, that's cheap for us. But if you're out there in, in freaking Kentucky, it's probably more like 60 oh, it's bucks. Oh, like 60 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably yeah, yeah. probably less. I probably think less. at high time you get it for that price. It's like $80. Oh. I think it's under 100 That's fair. See, that's fair. And look at here. You can DoorDash. Fucking Buffalo Trace for thirty five bucks <laughs> for thirty four fifty. Good, good old reliable. I guess. Oh, uh, extremely. I I love Buffalo Trace. I have no issues with that bourbon whatsoever. But yeah, it's it's just freaking crazy. But again, if you know the right person out there, like there's this one YouTube channel I watch. They're from Indiana, and they bought a, a fifteen year pappy for two hundred fifty bucks. And at first, God damn, when they say it hurts my soul, even though so mm-hmm. go ahead, that is not overrated. Like when you're See, sp- when you're spending two fifty, it's it seems worth, fair. It's it's worth two fifty. A uh, good, yeah. So I get Agreed. it. I I get it. Okay. But when it's you know ninety dollars for an ounce or two, it's like it's I'm good. That's where it's a little. From, yeah. Even you know 
when I had a job. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want to spend that money. Right. No, I, I don't blame you. I, I do not blame you. I can at buy all. a whole whistle pig tenure for that price. The last time I paid that was what a year or two ago when when you, me, and the girls went out to San Francisco together to go to uh, not Hollingsworth with that random speakeasy in Napa Valley. Mm-hmm. That was really nice, and we went out there. We went on a whole big trip and everything. So I treated myself. Yeah, with, that, with, that, with that two ounce pour of the 15 year which was spectacular by the way but at the same time i don't do that like i just don't i don't do that on the regular or anything like that i'm not uh, and that, i think that's the thing i've gained some perspective from watching different youtube channels that talk about certain whiskeys and to where now i'm like oh this costs this much now no, i'm good i'm good I, it, you're not, getting ripped off you're yeah. literally getting fucked in front of everybody mm-hmm. and it if doesn't I, feel good <laughs> you might be a little buzzed from it but right? it doesn't feel good right i mean <laughs> Uh, again, the I think it was probably like seventy five, ninety dollars or something like that. Not, I'm not trying to like like boast or anything like that. But that pour of the fifteen year that I did get that time, it was probably about that price, yeah, or so for the for the two ounce pour. But again, I was fine with it. I think I gave you a taste too. Yeah, yeah, I took a little sip, and, and it was nice. But I mean, I feel like to really appreciate it, you got to have like that the you know, whole that whole thing. Like, let it coat your palate, give it some scent, some sniffs, and all that, and then go for it. I had a decent pour of the fifteen. I Where? think it was the 15. Oh, shit. Of uh, what? Of, of Pappy? Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure. It was Where was 15. this? It was at a place called Chapter One Ooh. in Santa Ana. Sounds like an old book. <laughs> Sounds like yeah, it smells it like an old book. It was, with, like a, it was with a bunch of um, coworkers. Okay. And one of them knew the bartender. Oh. So, okay. you know, I just asked, what is the most expensive whiskey you got? And how much does it cost? That's all I asked. That's how much does it cost? Just out of curiosity. And, you know, the guy, I'll say his name, Tony, super nice. So Tony? He he paid for it. It was like 80 bucks. Wow. No, I think it was less than that. I think they charged him like 60. Wow. Nice. Okay. And, and it was a decent pour. Hell like, yeah. I remember it tasted like uh, gasoline back then. <laughs> but who knows? That was also before I had a little bit more of a mature palate when it comes to whiskeys. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that that's the thing that everyone has to remember is like, you got to be able, if you're going to get yourself something that expensive, try other things first. Like, certainly. Just, start with Buffalo Trace. Yeah. Work start, your way up. Exactly. Start with like a nice, beautifully entry level thing to where, I, that's the thing about Buffalo Trace. It probably costs the same there as it does here, you know, or costs the same yeah, as it does probably. there. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's fine. I wish it was like that for everything, but for some reason, sometimes it's not. But then again, Buffalo Trace is like readily available compared to like Rip Van Winkle and upward of that, you know. So it is what it is. It is what it is. But I mean, I'm I'm hoping that Blanton steadily drops in price too, because again, it shouldn't cost more than like forty bucks. I feel maybe fifty bucks, realistically. I'd pay an easy eighty for it. I, I think mean, it's better than. Yeah. Ten. Now, I get what you're I, saying. I, like, I agree. Like, that's it, how much they charge, so yes. that's how much you should be paying. Yes, I get it. Correct. But I'm Correct. saying I think that's better than a lot of hundred dollar whiskeys or even two hundred dollar. I agree. I agree. I agree. You know you're Blanton's getting quality. So good, yeah. And the one that you treated yourself with, the Blanton's Red, was it? That was really good. That one was amazing. Yeah. That was, I, I I regret not taking more time to savor it, but I was glad that you gave me the taste when you did. That was that was a good pour too. Yep, that was pour. before the the drunk adventure really began. <laughs> yeah. <Ow. laughs> do you need to get going, sir? Yeah, I gotta get going. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. But of course, oh! before we do, an episode of Beer Belly would not be complete without John's words of wisdom for the week. Fuck everything we said. Go to Stag Bar, get the most expensive whiskey in the world, and drink it. I don't <laughs> care if you never had whiskey before. It's the best experience in your life. <laughs> Enough said. There you go. No, it you is good. Do that. Don't do it. Don't do that. <laughs> save your money <laughs> but if you can I, well that's the thing their expensive whiskeys are affordable there it super is in comparison to everything else yeah. it's crazy like they sell it for an extremely fair price or at least they did back during lockdown look quarantine really status quick. please do if you can find that price that'd be amazing but while John's doing that of course please reach out to us let us know what we should talk about next time any questions or comments you have for us to respond to beerbellypod at gmail.com like I mentioned earlier Earlier, uh, we got at beerbellypod on all socials links to where you can find us on the internet and every episode description thank you very much for taking the time to rate us on your favorite podcasting apps as well liking on youtube and such it really helps a lot on instagram so on and so forth of course um that being said again 
comment, DM us, however you want to get a hold of us. Let us know what's up, what you're up to, and what questions you have. And if you feel like we should try something like, I don't know, a nice whiskey, a nice beer, what have you, to try it on the show, let us know. We'd be happy to hear from you. But again, this has been an episode of Beer Belly. I'm AJ. Joan. And uh, let's see if we can find that price real quick. Any luck? No, I think they have removed the prices. Oh, snap. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. It was only one way. Wait, no, no. I doubt they're going to show the price, though. They used to. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Do you want an appetizer? (laughs) I I would like an appetizer with my boss hug. Thank you. Let me see. Actually, (laughs) nope. They don't got them listed anymore. Wow. I guess we're going to have to just go and check for ourselves then. (laughs) (laughs) This has been Beer Belly. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. (laughs) Fuck. Fuck. <laughs>